So day three is our last full day and it is arguably the busiest day that we have. We get up nice and early and we take a 20 minute stroll to South Melbourne markets. Again, this is very similar to like Paddy's Market in Sydney and we look for some of the food options. For breakfast, we go to the burrata bar, which basically does salads with burrata. So this had burrata, prosciutto, some citrus and Brussels sprouts. And then we got coffee and a hot chocolate. And I do love that the hot chocolates in Melbourne always come with a marshmallow. I think it's a nice little touch. We then go to a bakery to pick up some pastries and bits and pieces for the road because we then go to pick up an Uber car share and we drive an hour and a half to Alba Thermal Spas, which are like these natural springs um, that you can find and they have 22 pools and it is definitely worth the experience. I would highly recommend. We stayed for three and a half hours and I think it's $95 per adult. The scenery and the atmosphere is honestly just amazing. It has spas of varying temperatures and you can do some plunge pools and saunas and steam rooms as well. We then make the drive back into the CBD and we drop off our Uber car share and walk back to the hotel. It's a nice little brisk stroll. We have dinner at the beautiful Strato, which is 40 stories up. Now, for some reason, I don't seem to have any videos from inside, so you're gonna get the videos of the food that we actually ordered. Um, they do have a smaller menu, so definitely check before you go. Day four, we go out for coffee in the morning and we walk to DFO, which is on the same side of the river that we are, but it's kind of opposite Docklands. We do a little bit of shopping. Um, I bought a jumper for Bubs. My mum bought something for dad and that was kind of all we really picked up. And then we walk across the river to grab lunch. We wanted something definitely on the filling side because we don't actually get back to Sydney until 5 p.m. So there is a little bit of a time gap. We walk back to our hotel for a 1 p.m. checkout. I got a late checkout with our reservation. We Uber to the airport and then we check in and head into the domestic terminal. And similar to Sydney, we decide that we're going to grab a little bit of food before we get on the plane. This time we picked up donuts and I got another hot chocolate. As a side note, it was $8.50. Can we just let that sink in for a minute? 